Artificial intelligence is going to take your jobs. Or is it? I mean, we've all heard it before. All those weird, scary headlines where the robots are coming up to attack us, but uh, how much of that is true? Well, there is one question that you can ask yourself to figure out if your job will be taken away by robots. The question you need to ask yourself, does my job require me to be creative or think laterally. If you're unfamiliar with the term lateral thinking, well, it simply just means you're able to solve problems in a creative manner. Computers and machines are awful at this type of problem solving. So if you are to guide a child on what career to take, then definitely guide them towards careers that robots are bad at. The idea for this video actually stemmed from a book I read recently, which is called Life 3.0. This is a book written by a famous physicist called Max Tegmark, who's also a friend of Elon Musk. The book is all about AI and its current potential, as well as what the future may look like for the tech and AI world. If you also have a huge interest in technology and want to learn more about what the potential future of AI is, I definitely suggest reading the book and I've actually put a link in the description where you can get the book from. Anyway, back to the main bit of the video. So what careers are actually safe when it comes to AI? Well, becoming a doctor, an engineer, a dancer or performer, a lawyer or an entrepreneur are all safe routes that will make sure that you will lower your chances of your job being taken away by an artificial intelligence. And as I did mention before, the reason why these jobs are likely to be safe is because they all require creative thinking and majority of them actually happen in a really complex environment. Some jobs that are very likely to be taken away by AI are paralegals, radiographers, taxi drivers and cashiers. Maybe you're wondering but why paralegals and radiographers? Aren't they good careers? Firstly, let's look at what a paralegal's job is. So they're basically responsible for sifting through multiple papers and to retrieve information that can help a lawyer. This sort of type of workload is actually what current AIs are built for. And in fact, AIs right now are very good at taking in huge amounts of information and spitting out insights that someone needs. And in essence, it's already able to do the job of a paralegal in that sense. Other tasks that a paralegal might have is to organize meetings and write letters. And these two tasks are already pretty much, you know, done by computers in a lot of places. And you already have AIs nowadays that can even write letters that sound like they've come from another human. Let's have a look at radiographers now. Radiographers are responsible for analyzing photos and scans to figure out if there's anything wrong with a patient. A radiographer simply uses their past experience to see images and ultimately identify if there's anything wrong with the patient. And you can clearly see this is quite an easy task for an AI to do. If an AI has gone through many different pictures, of labeled data and in essence show that these are the types of problems when you show it a new picture it'll be able to easily see if there is a problem or not and this in fact image recognition style type of ai is what comes under the subcategory of computer vision computer vision is also an aspect that helps autonomous vehicles so maybe you've already seen the videos where an, an autonomous vehicle is able to identify the difference between a car and a human or a person walking on the street should i say well that there itself is computer vision ultimately the thing i want to stress the most is if you want to make sure that your career is unlikely to be taken by an artificial intelligence always check to see if your job requires you to be creative or solve problems in a creative fashion if you want more videos like this where I share the key takeaways from cool books and stuff that I've read and let me know by commenting down below and also I want to hear your thoughts on AI as well as I find it quite an interesting topic.